Today I was going to show you a quick sketch with um, Chinese ink and my Lamy pen. Uh, I'm doing some exercises for my new class, uh, how to draw better faces. And I just want to warm up before I do demos for the class. I have some fresh photos of um, my model and I'm going to do a quick sketch. I'm going to start with a pencil. Uh, you might not see the lines very well, but just believe me, I'm working on a very light outline so I can figure out my composition. So just sliding along the outlines of the figure. I don't want to press too hard right away because if I mess up and don't put some stuff in the correct spot, um, you know, it will be hard to delete and stuff and you can make a mess with your eraser too. It kind of damages the paper when you erase too much. So I'm going to go light and sketch it in. And then my next layer will be my ink pen where I can verify all the details and I will be adding some light and shadow with uh, Chinese ink as well. And you will see how I do that. And legs are a bit when they're kind of um, crossed like this when the person is sitting. It's a bit hard to know how far out to go with the knee. So it's a good idea. So her elbow is here and the leg starts here, so it's about the same distance to the knee. Um, so elbow is kind of in the middle of the length of the leg. So that's how I reference my points in the drawing. And this leg actually goes down, so the knee will be somewhere here. It probably needs to be a little thicker and give her chair to sit on. I'm going to just mark the features very lightly so make sure the proportions of the face are correct. Uh, maybe a bit more chin. Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, ink pen and add some details, go over the outline again, but add some details. And important thing here is to not do like one line everywhere, but vary your marks and make the lines more interesting and varied because it always looks better if you know something interesting is going on in your sketch. And show the hair. Hair is really you know, it's a changeable form and you can exaggerate it a bit or make more of it, make less of it. It doesn't really affect anything as long as you have the general character shown. It's going to be good. And with uh, hands and fingers, you want to keep it at the same level of detail as the rest of your sketch. That's why I'm not drawing every single finger. I'm just giving general impression that, you know, she's she folded her arms. And you see with the sweater, I'm kind of really quickly indicating the folds of it. I don't put down one straight line because, you know, human beings are complex forms. They're not, they're not straight up and down. So you need to keep that in mind and try to reflect it in your sketch as much as possible. 
as accurately as possible, I should say. And here's the chair. Okay. So the pen and ink outline is done. So now what I'm going to do is make a light uh, wash with my ink with plenty of water and I'm going to cover the whole shaded side of the figure. It's very important to work from general to detailed. That gives you sketch unity and you know you don't break it up into tiny little details before it is really necessary. Unity is very important in artwork. I love those Chinese brushes. They have very pointy um, ends and they're easy to work with and you want to have as big of a brush as possible. You know, the artists, experienced artists usually say paint with the biggest brush you can get away with. And I'm going to show her sweater. This whole side is going to be dark. And there will be a shed on this side. It's turned away from the light. Dark elbow here. And show this is dark. And you might even see that I'm exaggerating all the folds and curves. I just think it looks better when there is more going on in the drawing. But I'm pretty faithfully following my model. Okay, and this initial wash is done. And what I'm going to do now is pick up some darker uh, ink. Um, my initial wash is still wet. I'm just going to drop in some very dark details to give it more uh, contrast, you know. And I know it's very tempting to paint the eyes and the features right away, but I always try to hold off till the last minute because They distract us from the whole, and you don't want them to do that. You want your sketch to be about the whole figure, not just you know one feature. Dark on this side of the hair. And I'm gonna Add some folds to her sweater. Don't need much, you know, go lightly on those things. And with jeans, it's always good to indicate the seam. It kind of gives us instant motion and form. And let's look at her face and maybe add a few more, maybe soften some things and add some details. And if stuff runs like that, you can always pick it up with a paper towel. Soften the nose. I think the other eye is fine. Um, I think this is good. We're done. I might just darken this because her sweater is black. I want it to not stand out so much compared to her face. And that was a very quick sketch. We're done. I'm gonna sign it real quick. And maybe we can do another one. Get another sheet of paper. I'm using, by the way, watercolor paper. I accidentally bought this really thin 90 uh, pound 
a paper but it's good for exercises like this I'm not gonna waste it alrighty let's do another quick sketch with pen and ink starting with um, pencil outline just for composition like I said if you can see it I'm sorry but I have to go lightly so my pencil sketch doesn't interfere with the um, with the later washes and with my uh, ink work this is a little more complicated uh, pose the model is kind of suspended in the space you will see it in a second but I just like the movement and I'm going to try to capture it and you can sometimes it's even good to exaggerate the movement a little bit it looks better because especially if the model is holding a pose you know they can't really twist very much or but if there is a hint of the movement you can always exaggerate it in your sketch yeah this leg is going to run off the page and this is her stool that she signal and i need to draw this hand So she will be holding on and this is my pencil outline now let's um, put in some details with um, ink pen and you see I usually start with the top you can actually start in any spot but I want to make sure you know everything fits on the page that's why I usually start at the top this um, line work with the ink you can do as much or as little as you want you can experiment with different level of development maybe even start shading with the pen and then add the wash I like to just a few details with the pen because I like working with my washes. And you see, I keep the hand at the same level of development as the rest of the figure, not drawing every finger. set for the line work and let's do our wash very light um, ink wash to start with and I usually start that wash somewhere where I know I will be putting another layer on like here just to test it a little better because it might look a little different on paper than on your palette or in the, in the cup where you're mixing in and if you use too much water you can always pick it up with a paper towel if I 
there's a shadow there on the chin I think I'm gonna connect it to the rest of the shadow on the face and wash for sweater but not with black I don't want it solid black and this is all in shadow this side again it's a little dark and there is a shadow on the side of the leg and as I mentioned I might have mentioned it before um, once the ink dries you can't really move it but when it's wet you can pick it up and uh, soften the edges to a certain extent so it's interesting to work with kind of keeps you on your toes that's for sure okay this is our initial wash and i'm going to take a smaller brush and i'm going to take a darker ink uh, solution i still have a little bit of water in there as you see on my palette and I'm gonna put in the dark details. She has like a swish of hair across her face, which I really like. So I'm gonna show that. The hair is really dark here. Do it here. And then there is dark against her face, which is fortunate for me because I can really show off the face with all those shadows. And with the face, we need to be a little more careful. Um, you don't want any harsh shadows, especially if you're painting a young woman. You don't want to give her unnecessary wrinkles. Now I need to find some interest in that sweater. Show the folds. balance it down here on this tool so all the darks are not concentrated in one spot what else we need to do yeah maybe a little darker here something about that hair doesn't look natural maybe I'll just add a few more strokes Always good idea to check the crown of the face. We tend to skip on the crown, not make it big enough. Maybe I'll do a bit of a design, connect the figure with the edges of my paper. And I can also do the details with my pen. Maybe it will be easier when than that big brush. Like with her mouth, it will be easier for me to get in there with a the pen. Restate the neck and the shadows here. A few more details on the hand. I think it looks good. I'm gonna sign. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can all meet here again and have some fun painting and drawing. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.